Nicky Hilke is outside of Goodison Park, West Ham fan TV. Dave, it was worth the trip up here in the end. That was a, that was a brilliant finish to the game. It was, wasn't it? I, yeah, it's glorious, moment. glorious weather. We've got it all up here today. Uh, do you know what? I, uh, I'm so, so happy for Suchek that he scored. What's a, thought, what a goal. What it? I mean, he's got it in his locker. He's, he's been a, you know, he hit two over the bar early on, on Monday night. And that's, you know, he's had a little bit, I feel like, at times with the fans getting his back a little bit, especially read social media. But he's he's such a such a dogged, determined player. And he's he's got that quality in his locker. And he's so glad when it comes out. Every now and then he's got that in there, isn't he? Like, you know, the last minute winners. That's a few this season. I think that's the third. Do you know what? As well, I mean, that's probably goal of the season for us. I mean, yeah, like, I, yeah. don't know, I can't think of a better one. It's probably goal Emerson's last week was special, but that, one, that yeah, one's got to be something. the control and, and the, the angle to hit it on was... But I mean, like, I think it was like 20, 25 minutes, edge of our box. You know, they look certain to score. He, he lunges in, makes a great tackle. I think he made another great tackle just before just before uh, we went and got 2-1. Alvarez, I, I'm so happy he scored as well. Because I, it's been... You, you, I've, I, I was saying last night to some Everton fans on, on their YouTube channel, like, with Alvarez, he's one of them players that you don't often notice when he's there, but you do notice when he's not. And today, I thought he did such a good job at just shackling their attack. Brilliant, and then yeah. to burst forward and get that, you know, we could all have T-shirts and I was there when Alvarez scored. <laughs> you know, it was... Yeah, it was great. It was fantastic. Ariola's got to get a special mention as well. Oh, some of the saves he pulls off is, is uh, unreal. Yeah. Oh, he kept us in that game, like... You know, not just, I mean, the penalty save, he made absolute worldy just after they scored. I mean, that's, that's probably the one one negative from the game, or two negatives in the game. He's, what he's, you know, to give a bet over a free header, obviously it didn't count for much. So, you know, we've got away with it. We, we've got to be a little bit more clued on. You know, you can't give players free headers in a box like that. And the other negative I thought was was Craig Paulson, who once again delivered a shocking refereeing performance. Yeah, yeah, it wasn't great. I didn't think it was great for both teams, to be it honest. Wasn't. I mean, that was a clear penalty from Zoom. If your arm's out there, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a clear hand ball. And then, you know, Bowen's gone through. Brent Fates dived, did it one all, got nowhere near the ball. Clears Bowen out in the box. I mean, it's a stonewall. It's just a stonewall as their penalty. He doesn't give it. VAR doesn't look at it. I, I want someone to explain that one to me. How, like, Brent Wake can dive in, get nowhere near the ball. And... And we get nothing for it. Yeah. I mean, he was. I didn't. And then he just went. I don't know. He didn't book anyone all game. You know, Garner should have been booked in the first half for stopping bad on a break. <laughs> didn't book anyone all game. And then Suchek scores, takes his shirt off. And, and I think he books. Antonio gets booked for trying to point out that we want to make a sub. And Pickford gets gets booked for walking five yards out of his area. It was, yeah. It was a shock, shocking route. But let's not let's not dive on the referee too much because we know he's shocking. He's a bad referee. It was. It, I thought that was a better win than, than Monday night, personally. I thought... It was I'm a sure. doggy performance, it wasn't it? It was. It was, it was doggy. But I, I thought it was one of them where, with the exception of uh, Ariola, Alvarez and Suchek, who I, who I thought 8, 9, 10 out of 10 performances, everyone put in a kind of 7 out of 10 shift. Yeah. You know, no one out there dropped below that, really. Will Prowse especially, you know... I felt a little bit. I've given him a little bit of stick on here. You know, I, I think he's. I, I've said he's, his form's dropped off since October, but today I thought we saw a bit of energy for him. Um, you know, he, he's he hits, he set piece, beats the first man, goes into a danger area, we score. You know, just get back on the training ground, keep doing that. Let's, let's get those set pieces yeah. back because when Wars Price is putting set pieces like that into dangerous areas, we've he, he's, he's a threat and he's, he really does provide us Excellent. something that no one else can. No worries, mate. On to Freiburg. See you in Germany. See you in Germany. <laughs> Cheers, mate.